Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your chat widget with Streamlabs from nerdodie.com. Now, I'm going to actually show you with the Arcade Pop Pack here, but I want to let you know from Nerd or Die, we try to keep everything very similar. So no matter what pack you're going to use, the import process as well as customizing it should be pretty much the same way for any pack. So once you have it downloaded and un unzipped somewhere, you can see all the different folders here inside the pack. What we need to do is go into the Streamlabs folder and then just go ahead and click the chat box link, which will begin the import process. We can import into one of our current widget themes, but I have one called demo here. So I'm just going to click use and it will actually import all the code and everything it needs to run. And once that's actually done, we'll see a preview start to play. Two quick things I want to point out about importing is that sometimes this might not look exactly how it should. That's okay. It will sometimes look different within OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. And the other thing is, if it doesn't import at all, try it one more time because sometimes that just helps. And it's the number one issue that we run into sometimes with people is that sometimes the import doesn't fully kick in or doesn't load. So maybe even refresh the page to see if it's working properly. So with it actually imported, what we need to do is add it into both OBS Studio as well as Streamlabs OBS. So for OBS Studio, let's just click copy and grab the widget URL here. I'll add in a browser source. And once I go ahead and paste in the URL that I just copied, we'll be done. It will actually load your chat right here. If you have a couple of chatters helping you out, you'll see it loading in. Now in Streamlabs OBS, all that you need to do is click the plus, and then you'll want to add a chat box widget. You'll see a kind of preview here of what it generally looks like, but of course, don't worry. That's not what ours is going to look like. In this little area, it'll actually load in some chatters so that you can kind of see what's going on, uh, even though in your actual example over here, you won't see that happening. So I'm just going to click done. And with that, they're pretty much loaded up. But now you want to customize it and you want to make it look better or even different than maybe we have it before. So let's talk about how we can do that. All right, so when we're customizing things, we'll see here that nothing's really loading in this example and the same thing's happening in OBS Studio. To change that, we can actually go into the source here as a browser source and type question mark simulate equals one. And when we do that, it's actually going to go ahead and load up the same kind of chatters here and just kind of preview it. And when we're done, we can go ahead and remove that from here and it will go back to normal and only show your current chatters. But since we're testing things out and customizing things, let's go ahead and add that back in. Now, the other thing is we'll see the red bounding box here be maybe not the width and height that you like. You can change that here within the browser by going in here and let's change this to actually a 600 width and a 1000 height. This is much better than just scaling things down and up because if you're actually clicking here and scaling, you're only scaling. So especially if you go up, you're going to get a blurry result. It's always better to adjust the width and height first and then scale if you need to after. Now, the same thing can be done in Streamlabs OBS. If you really need to, you can, instead of using this chat box, which I'll just quickly hide, you can go ahead and hit the plus and use a browser source as well. And we can add that in, paste in our URL and type simulate equals one. And we can, of course, adjust the width and height if you like. And once we hit done, we should see some chatters pop in. But let's go back into OBS Studio and customize here further. All right. So with this part, a lot of people actually don't get to it because they don't know about it or they might be using Streamlabs OBS. Uh, actually, if I go back here into Streamlabs OBS and show you really quick, we go into the chat box. There's only some limited options here, and it's, it's basically the default options. If you actually go here into the HTML and CSS tab and then custom fields, you'll see additional ones. But I like to just do everything inside of the streamlabs.com website itself, especially if you're using OBS Studio. That's pretty much the only way you can do this. So keeping things side by side here, we can go through the global options and you can use these if you like. But uh, some of them don't have too much effect. A lot of them, for example, uh, the text color and font size, they might work with what we're doing or they might not depending on the actual widget. So you can change them here. And if you get into any trouble with customizing the options, you can just re import the chat widget to restore your defaults. Now, the reason for that is because usually we keep a lot of the options in the custom fields, 
but in this specific example, you could actually use the font size and the text color. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it here and just show you once we hit save, we'll see a much larger text come through and you'll see that here. Now, again, if you go down to this custom fields area and you see something for font size, that's likely going to override the default options. The reason for that is just sometimes we have a lot of options to add in depending on the pack. So the custom fields are always going to be different and kind of some of the options are going to be as well. However, there are global options that you can always use. So you could enable the always show message or you could take it off and just adjust this here and that will work pretty much no matter what you're doing. Now, of course, stuff like the muted chatters and the custom bad words, those will work as needed as well. Now down here, you'll see the custom fields and these are custom options that we've actually built in. So you can see one for font family. If you actually change this, let's say you wanna use the font, um, let's see here, NTR, which I've never heard of. You can just select it there and hit save settings and then we'll see it load up. I have no idea what it looks like, Okay, it actually looks exactly the same. That's because sometimes in Streamlabs, you need to hit save twice in order to apply that. You can see this is actually a little bit more round of a font than what I was using. It just looks kind of similar. Before we move on to the custom fields, I highly recommend just going through the global options and changing the ones that you like. Again, just mess around with things, get what you like. If you screw up, don't worry. You can always import and go back to default. It's really about finding what works best for you. But when you're ready, come down to the custom fields. Now, again, depending on the chat widget that you're using, you can see the custom options here that we've actually coded in. So for example, if you want to use a different font family, uh, one that's always easy to see the difference is lobster. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll actually set it to right align. We can adjust the background color of the box here. So let's actually just drop that completely. And when I hit save settings, you should see everything just kind of update. Now it's right aligned and it actually has the lobster font, which looks um, pretty much terrible. So if you want to, you can just go ahead and set things back to whatever you were doing before. Now, if we actually go back into Streamlabs OBS here, we should see the same thing where the text is slightly larger. Uh, again, if you like to, you can use the standard chat box, but honestly, I like to use the browser source pretty much all the time. That's just a personal preference. Um, if you like to have all the options kind of built in here and have everything right here in one place, it's a very nice option, but I always like to use this for just a couple of different reasons. Um, but once again, when you're ready, you can just go back here to the end of the URL and remove simulate equals one. But before I close everything up, let me actually show you this in a different pack to kind of drive home the point of what's possible with the custom fields that we provide. All right, so to show you a bit more options, I'm gonna go ahead and load in the focus overlay pack. So once I just install that in, we'll be able to see kind of the difference. The thing about focus that I like is that it's very minimal, but it was really important to us to just pack in all the options that we possibly could. So right now it just looks like just a simple box with some text kind of fading in. But once we scroll down here and go into the custom fields, you'll see a host of different options. We'll have stuff like the font, the alignment, to kind of have it full width or partial width to where everyone will fill up the entire width of the chat box that you set. Uh, you can change things like the name color, the separator, etc. So again, depending on the pack that you're using, there's a lot more to it. So make sure to play around with it, see what you like and find something that works for your stream. If you're using any other streaming software, you can just go ahead in and add a browser source or the equivalent, which might be some kind of website source or something like that, and grab the widget URL and just paste it in. That will work for pretty much any streaming software. And we're going to actually be releasing a lot more videos that cover each of the individual packs and all their options, and that will be in the future. So make sure to follow us on social media or subscribe to our YouTube to get those updates. And I hope this video kind of helped you just get a little bit more knowledge especially if you're newer to streaming. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.